It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. A quick check now at the starting five for both teams. First for Phoenix. Adds Durant in at the four spot. And then for the Los Angeles Lakers. And manning the middle, a champion in his lone season at Kentucky. And the 2012 number one pick overall, shot blocker extraordinaire, Anthony Davis. And it's LeBron James. Well, you look at the Lakers' struggles last season, I think it surprised most of us. You know, some of it was injuries, part of it was just a, a lack of production off the bench, and there was the inconsistency of uh, the coaching and, and just the, uh, the, the number of different people who were on that bench. So, difficult season for the Lakers. Tip off goes to the Lakers. Passes it to Reeves. Hachimura. The pass to LeBron. Fires from deep. The shot's good from Reeves. And you look at the struggles of the Lakers bench last season. And the injury struck. They didn't have the players really to play that good. Yeah. And look at the The Lakers, the bold strokes from the star players have been impressive. But it's the fine details of finding undervalued role players. That's where they've been lacking. Once injuries happen, that was thrown into sharp relief. And really, even when healthy, to win a title, you can't just have a great starting five. We know that. You need another four or five players you can count on to give you quality minutes. And so here's Phoenix after the basket by the Lakers. Here's Beal, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Well, he's one player who can get hot in a big hurry. It's like he has an on-off switch, and once it gets flipped on, he's tough to stop. And one of his other great qualities, Steve, is his quick trigger off the dribble. I mean, he can get his shot off in an instant, a nanosecond. Free throw good, Beal. Here is Russell. First quarter just over a minute played. And they double up Russell. Beal, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the Suns now. The Lakers on D. Durant kicks to Beal. Pass Oko D. He shoots again. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The Suns have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. Well, this is a good free throw shooting team a year ago. They hit about 79% of their free throws as a unit. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. Vincent's checked in for Russell. possession here. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin. I spoke with the Lakers head coach. One player we discussed in detail was the young Bradley Beal. He said, I was a fan of his game from watching him at Florida. His combination of outside shooting and slashing make him a very tough cover. We're going to put pressure on him and try to take the ball out of his hands. And Kevin, Beal's such an intriguing talent. We'll see if he's able to put up some big numbers. Thanks, Doris. First one falls for him. Well, you know, for the Suns, it's been a hard fall, guys. As recently as 2010, they played in the conference finals last season, had the fourth worst record in the NBA, and they're not exactly stacked with young talent. The uh, rise back to the top is going to be slow and long. 
And both free throws good for Davis. Well, you talked about the troubles of the Suns, Clark, and for so long, one of the elite offensive ball clubs in the NBA. Then, Steve, last season, they were second to last in scoring efficiency. Well, let's see. What happened last year? Oh, oh yeah, Steve Nash left. Uh, I think that might have something to do with it, Kevin. Look, this is just a rebuilding mode for Phoenix, and it happens to everybody. Uh, the end of one great era and hopefully the start of a new one, but it's going to take a few years to get this thing rolling. So it's the Lakers now. After the missed three, Mokogi. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Vincent defended by Beal. Vincent the pass to LeBron. The feed now to Davis. Rocket six. Vincent. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Gets it to go. It is so hard to contain. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Beal gets a screen on Nurkic. Off the pick. Good. He hits the jump shot. Very effective screen to set up the jumper, and that was the key to that play. And here is LeBron. Pass to Vincent. Back to LeBron. Lakers passing it around. Oh, trying for it. The ball stolen. Feeds to Booker. Outside Durant. Durant off a pick from Nurkic. The dish to Booker. A three ball. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. The Lakers in the lead. You know, if there was no salary cap, no max contract in the NBA, you'd have to wonder what LeBron James would demand for his salary. I mean, he clearly is worth more than the maximum you can pay him because he's so far ahead of everybody else in the league in terms of talent. I think Kevin Durant is probably the only one who comes close to him in terms of a guy of that size and that ability. The first free throw is good. And going back to the topic of max contracts, if those were higher relative to the cap, it might be harder to assemble the, the big three star trios we, for instance, see in Miami. And, Kevin, I think that's where we're heading with the new CBA. It's going to be more and more difficult to put uh, three max guys together and so teams are, are kind of working their way through this uh, new CBA, trying to figure out how they're going to structure their payrolls going forward. And he makes both free throws. Well, for the Lakers last season, it seemed there was so much turmoil uh, throughout the year. Injuries, uh, coaching-wise, uh, changes in the offense. They never were able to really gain any momentum. They made a decent run at the end of the season. But that didn't carry over into the postseason when they were swept by the Lakers in the first round. And the Lakers with possession here. After the three-pointer from Little. From past the arc. Rebounded by Bates. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Now here's Gordon. Shoots the three. The shot is off. Here's Vincent. And Gordon over to help. Wood passes to Vincent. Here's Vanderbilt defended by Beal. Shot clock at six. That's a hole. And again, the Lakers no good. I think going back to D'Antoni and the Lakers, that Howard and Gasol were made more than a little disgruntled with how Clark he made use or didn't make use of them offensively. You know, the Lakers brought in D'Antoni to try to emphasize Steve Nash and his role in the offense, but I think they neglected how that would affect the seven-footers. Didn't do a really good job of incorporating those guys. And when you got Kobe getting his shots, that's a tough dynamic to work for. But Suns shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game.
Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. So they now lead by one. 15 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Russell kicks to Prince. Here's Christie. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Suns lead by one. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? Well, they've been getting to the foul line here an awful lot. The aggressive play really paying off. Yeah, and you know what? It also helps to put the mute button on the crowd. I mean, when you methodically score at the line, that can put those fans on their hands. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Hi, gentlemen. Well, Josh Smith with over four assists per game last season, both from first among power forwards. Smith said, quote, I like passing the basketball. People want to get rewarded. Guys, Smith is such a personal fitness. No surprise to see him richly rewarded with his new contract this season. And Doris, with his great passing, he can punish teams who might double team. Good stuff, thank you. And it's the Suns with the ball. Following the three by the Lakers. Lee outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Russell passes to Christie. Lakers passing it around. And there's the pass to Wood. Hit the shot. And another basket for the Lakers. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. The Suns making a switch here. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Beal dishes to Lee. There's a good screen. Pass to Beal. Back to Lee. Beyond the arc. That is good. Lee's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Offensive rebound. The Suns trailing. Pass the ball. Three-pointer. Another three for Phoenix. They brought up their three-point percentage this quarter. They're shooting it well right now. The defense may need to think about making some kind of adjustment to slow that down. And the Lakers with possession here. No good from Vincent. He kicks it to Russell. He passes to Vincent. Here's Wood. Throws it from outside. He's got five. He can't leave him at all, especially from long range. Suns have gone two or four shooting the ball here. This up. Passes it to Bates. Leveled by Wood. Back to Lee. The pass the ball. He dishes it to Lee. Another three for Phoenix. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists, a great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Boy, he wants to get everybody on the same wavelength, that's for sure. And he may change up some things here as well. Looks to me like he saw something that wasn't on the plan, and I think now is the time to address it. I don't have a problem with that. And Phoenix making a change here. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Lakers with the ball. Trailing by two. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Suns? Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. And the other thing we're seeing is great ball movement. We're seeing a lot of good offensive execution, ball movement, player movement, setting up assists. That's good from Little. And the Lakers making a change here. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside, Russell hits Prince on the wing. Here's Wood. It's good from about 19 feet. Seven points in the game. He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. Deal with it. Seven points in the game. Pass to Bates. Here's Willard. Hands it from downtown. And the Suns lead by five. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys. And the points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. Prince misses. An easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. Beal gets a screen from Ebanks. And Beal kicks to Gordon. Another three for Phoenix. And what I like about him, he, he needs very little time to get his shot off. If he has just a bit of room, that's all it takes. In a catch-and-shoot situation, he's going to let it fly. You know, something else I think about when I see this guy is he's a real headache to have to defend one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's got all of the game that makes it tough for his defender. Here's the Suns with the ball. They're on a 17-5 run here. Little passes to Beal. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Lakers trail by eight. This is to Russell. He feeds it to Prince. Back to Russell. It's up a three. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. And Phoenix making a change here. Thirty-two seconds left in the second quarter. And a two-for-one opportunity. Yeah, they've got to hurry. Step on the gas here. Kicks it to Gordon. And stolen by Prince. Four on three as they bring it up. Outside, Davis. Russell. Davis with a screen on Beal. Russell passes to Reeves. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. He's got six. Second left. Oh, 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 Peter, amazing! How about his killer instinct oh, oh, on display there? Wow, oh, fantastic. He didn't even flinch, just buried it like it was any other shot. Unbelievable. And we finished one half of basketball. The Suns on top, they lead by seven. And coming up now, it's the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. We'll return with the start of the third quarter in just a while. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Thursday night means basketball on 2K Sports. Thanks so much for joining us for the halftime report. For the Phoenix Suns, they have the lead against the Lakers. They've benefited from some excellent contribution from their bench, providing scoring in bunches when called upon. It's been a major advantage. Bradley Beal is scoring with ease against the Lakers. He's got seven points, and as usual, he's been handing out a lot of assists. On the other hand, the Lakers are still alive. They've done a great job closing out their defensive possessions, grabbing boards, great rebounding. 
Anthony Davis certainly contributing with his play. You have to love the way he's asserted his will on the offensive end. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Los Angeles and a bird's eye view from above the Staples Center. We have to like what we've been seeing from Little. He is a dynamic scorer, guys. That much we know. And I'll tell you what, his talent was on full display there in the first half. Steve, he is a hard man to keep down, and so far, they've been unable to do it. Here's Booker. Passes it to Nurkic. Okogi launches a three. Kept alive. Hangs. So the whistle blows on the shot with two free throws for the contact right there. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. The Suns have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. The first one falls. Nurkic. Lakers trail by nine. The feed to LeBron. Eight away. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Well, you know, you look at LeBron James, maybe more than any other player in NBA history, he's great in a way that transcends position. Size, skill, savvy, know-how. I mean, he's got it all. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And we're going to talk about LeBron's ability to really play any position on the floor. When you when you look back, has Steve there ever been a player you could say that about? I'm not sure if you could say that about uh, both ends of the floor. I mean, there's a lot of great defensive players who could guard everybody. You know, Scottie Pippen or Dennis Rodman. Offensively, Magic Johnson could play any position he wanted. But to be able to do so at both ends is what separates LeBron James. Free throws good from Booker. You know, he's as close to a sure thing as you can possibly have when he steps to the line. Now Russell looking for his first basket still on this one. There's the pass to Reeves. The pointer. And another three for the Lakers. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for this. He had to take timeout call the Suns. Just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. And the Lakers call time here. Second half is underway. LeBron gets the screen from Russell. LeBron kicks to Russell. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. They got on this really well again, and they just have it with that. Here's the screen. Pass it to 
to Nurkic. Oh, he. He passes it to Nurkic. He gets it to go. And the Suns lead by seven. That's textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. LeBron dishes to Russell. Back to LeBron. Fires the three. And the Lakers get it back. There's the triple. And it is by LeBron. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. The shot's good from Okogi. And now a nine-point Suns lead. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Leaves the pass to Russell. Again, Russell missing. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Feeds it to Beal. The pass, Hulk Hogan. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes a three. Beal can't get it to go. Lakers trail by nine. LeBron kicks to Russell. Solid play on the low back, and that one's good. This is not far from Phoenix has gone all two from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Booker, and he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion, so he'll head to the free throw line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Good bucket. And Phoenix making a change here. Both free throws good from Booker. 152 left to play in the third. Now here's LeBron, defended by Akoyan. Vincent, the pass to LeBron. Six on the shot clock. No good from Vincent. Suns leading by nine. It's Durant with the drive. Gets it to go. Durant's got his second basket. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. LeBron passes to Vander. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And they averaged about 77% uh, from the free throw line a year ago. So this is a, a solid free throw shooting team. And he makes the first. And Phoenix making a change here. So he gets them both. 112 left here in the third quarter. Here's Booker. He has six. Pass to Nurkic. Suns moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Oko B the pass to Booker. The three. Shots good. Booker's got seven points for the quarter. Nice kick out after the defense had collapsed on him. Gordon against Russell. Launches it. And it's rebounded by Koyan. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he's not helping their offense. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Passes it to Reeves. There's the dish to Russell. 
and the Lakers with another miss. Suns leading by 12. Okogi defended by Reeves. Okogi the pass to Booker. He passes it to Nurkic. A three-pointer off the mark. Vanderbilt. No good. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Suns lead by... The final quarter of play can change everything. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Suns. How about the three-point shooting we're seeing so far, guys? Amazing. You know, they've also been very good from the free-throw line. I mean, that's been a very important part of what they've done today. LeBron, good. LeBron's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Los Angeles. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. He just didn't make the catch, didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Lakers trail by 10. Russell passes to Reeves. He kicks it to LeBron. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. LeBron James. Two shots. You got it, Jackie. Yes. That one is off. Second free throw. Suns lean by nine. And here is Durant. And the pass. Oh, Kogi. He dishes it to Beal. Five on the clock. And he gets it to go from the high post. And he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. LeBron, left shot. Pass to Reeves. He feeds it to Russell. This one for three. Good. He's got the field. He's in the field here in the second half. Here's Booker. Tough call there and a tough break for the defense. You know, I think you could still see him kind of sliding in there. I don't have a problem with the call. And Phoenix making a change here. Ebanks checked in. Deal with it. Phoenix calls timeout. with Doris from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel had to say to his team. He was absolutely adamant saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Goes up off the inbound. And that's two points on the lane. Beal's got four points this quarter. Perfect inbounds pass and an easy two points. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Here's Reeves. Off target from three-point range. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Two shots. The 
first free throw is good. And if they continue to shoot well from the free throw line like they are, I mean, their lead is going to be pretty steady here. That's not an overstatement. They've literally not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And he's doing a great job at the charity strike. It's easy to overlook, but those freebies can make the difference. From deep three-point range, good and as this goes to Russell. He's just got three assists in the game. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-point. And all of them have to run that time before dropping the crisp pass into the paint. Tries to save it and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. The Suns making the switch here. Lakers trail by seven. With the second effort. Solid defense right there from Beal. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Fires the three. And that is good. Beal's got nine points now in the quarter. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Timeout called the Lakers. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. LeBron dishes to Russell. Los Angeles with another miss. Phoenix leading by 10. Alert from Durant. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to LeBron. Here's Reeves. Offline with his three. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. And Durant backing in. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. making a change here. Duran hits them both. 151 left in the fourth quarter. Russell kicks to LeBron. Back to Russell. Passes it to Reeves. Lock at six. And the officials call their attendance as they avoid the basket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. He can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Suns leading by 10. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's Booker. Beal, the pass. Hulk Hogan. Clanking it by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Suns lead by 12. And every point they get now puts them one step closer to the W. If they're not there already, Steve, just a tremendous all-around game of basketball they play. And Russell sends it to go. But the offense has kicked into gear, but seems to have arrived a little bit too late. 
And as a coach, that can really be frustrating when your guys were stumbling along for most of the game, and now when it's basically over, they finally decide to come alive. Here's Booker. After the main shot from Russell, Booker dishes to Durant. Durant off a pick on Rickich. Here's the floater. Yeah, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Yeah, trying to put a little mustard on the hot dog there. That, that was just, just convert the shot. Come on. Again, Russell missing. The Suns have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Durant with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Outside Durant. Now the pass. Oh, Kobe. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. And the crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle right, on the road. And they clearly wanted the win. You know, they were determined to steal this game. And they showed it, Steve. Played hard and got the job done. Oh, oh, oh. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. And I thought it might be a little improvement to try to get those points right back, but it worked. So it's the Suns winning easily here. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports Group, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Bradley Beal.